Hey guys, what's up? It's Nizam Harjo here. And in this video, I'm just going to share with you uh, quick tips, you know, how to use your domain name if you were to do email marketing, right? Now, uh, if you are using any autoresponder like GetResponse, if you're using Aweber or Sendlane, you know, a lot of people are using free email service like Gmail, Yahoo, or Bing. Okay, you might have your name at gmail.com. Let's say, for instance, like mine, I may have nizamharjo at gmail.com. Now, there's nothing wrong with using free email service, but there are a lot of uh, drawbacks if you were to use free email service as compared to using your own domain name. For instance, if I were to use nizamharjo at, uh, or nizam at nizamharjo.com. So it's very, very crucial to actually use your own domain name when sending email to your subscribers. Because first of all, what you need to do is, I mean, you need to build trust with your subscribers. Because one and only reason why they will eventually buy from you through whatever promotions that you uh, put up in your email, you know, with the responder sequence, is when they uh, know you and when they like you and eventually they trust you. And you need to have, you need to build that trust and you don't want to miss uh, building that trust through your own domain name. So imagine if they were to receive an email from you and seeing that you know, you're know you using Gmail or Yahoo. Now, a lot of spammers are using those free email service. So you don't want to be the same as those spammers. So you want to stand out. You want to build your brand. You want to create that trust even faster. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to have that you know, domain name of yours so that the moment they see it, you know, they, they will look at it as someone that they can trust so that when you email anything or when you advise or when you promote anything you know they will you know they want to listen to you even more compared to if you were to use a free email service now if let's say you know even if you don't have any hosting or whatever you know you can just get a ten dollar domain for instance if you have you know let's say in my case if i were to try to look for let's say he's um Arjo, uh, email.com okay actually uh, the, the best part for me uh, if you were, were to choose if you were to buy your own domain is without any email at the back you know you can use your name.com that's it so this is just an example because i've already bought nizamharjo.com so i'm just going to put up an example here you know uh, nizamharjo email.com so you can just uh, click to search domain so once you know, let's say, you know, as you can see here, yes, your domain is available. So what you have to do is you just have to click continue to cart, okay? So it's just that simple. You just have to get your $10 domain. You don't have to get any hosting. And what you need to do is uh, have this domain name of yours that you just bought. For instance, like in this case, I'm using GoDaddy. And to have this domain name, forward it to your free email service like Gmail. So you can still use Gmail, you can still use Yahoo, but uh, what will show up in your subscribers' email when you receive your email is they will see your domain name.com rather than gmail.com. And once if they were to reply to that email of yours, uh, uh, that email itself will be forwarded to your Gmail account. So you can still use your Gmail account. So all you have to do, you, know, you, don't, you don't need any technical knowledge. You just have to get it, this $10 domain. You can get it from uh, Namecheap. You can get it from GoDaddy and other uh, companies. So it's just as simple as this. You know, you just check out and you just uh, continue to cut. And that's about it. Okay. So since I've already you know, have an account and domain with uh, GoDaddy, so I'm just going to show you an example. You know, I'm just going to sign up here. Uh, so I'm Harjo, and then my password. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I'm how I'm going to forward. Okay, I'm going to forward uh, any domain name that I have to my free email service. Okay, so what you want to be doing here is, as you can see here now, I'm inside my account members area. So you want to be going to uh, manage you see as you can see here workspace email so you just have to click manage so once you're in manage okay, as you can see here I've already created one uh, email forwarding okay so this nizam at nizamharjo.com will be showing up to my you know subscribers uh, email 
you see they will receive email from nizam at nizamhajjo.com rather than nizam at gmail.com and stuff like that. So once they saw this, you know, if they were able to hit reply, then this, uh, you know, they will reply to this email and this, uh, I mean, this domain, this email address that I'm having here, uh, it will forward whatever messages that they have to my Gmail account. Okay, so I'm just going to show you an example of, you know, I'm going to create a new one. So all you have to do is you just need to create forward. So you just click this button, create forward here. And once you click on the button, the pop-up will appear. So, okay, I'm just going to show, uh, I'm just going to show you another example. So if let's say I'm using uh, means, um, uh, Queen FX. Now I do have another uh, domain here, queenfx.com. Okay, so this is, you know, this domain will appear once you have bought from GoDaddy. Okay, you don't need to buy any hosting yet. All you have to do is just buy the domain and it will appear. Okay, so you just type in here. Okay, so once you have, you know, uh, forward this email address, which is nizam at queenfx.com to your Gmail account, for instance. My Gmail account is nizamhajo at gmail.com. So, so whatever that is uh, replied or forwarded to this email will be forwarded to my Gmail account as well. Okay, so okay, as for catch all, make this, if I were to click on make this a catch all account, meaning even if uh, whoever that sends to you know, any kind of name, or maybe if they uh, left out D here, if they just type, you know, an I Z A M at queenfx.com, I will still receive the email and it will still be forwarded to nizamhajo at gmail.com. Okay, so catch all is, you know, it could be any name if they misspell it or something like that, you know, as long as at the back is still queenfx.com, whatever that is sent to. Uh, any kind of name at queenfx.com will all be forwarded to nizamhajo at gmail.com. So when you check on this, you know, whatever email that comes from queenfx.com will be forwarded to nizamhajo at gmail.com. Okay, so you just create, create, you click on create, and once you have clicked on create, so a uh, message will pop up here, email forwarding for Nizam at queenfx.com is being set up. So it shows that it, it is successful, okay? So you already have this, uh, another email, Nizam at queenfx.com, and whatever that is sent to this email will be sent to your Gmail account. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna show you an example. You know, uh, you know what I'm gonna use, what I'm using now is actually your response. So uh, I'm just going to click on my account and I just click on account details. Okay. So, as you can see, a lot of people used to use Gmail uh, as they are send this email address. So, you don't, want, you don't want to be doing that. You would want to avoid that in order to keep trust with your subscribers. Okay. So, as you can see here, from email address. So, you just click on from email address here and you just add new address, okay? For instance, if I were to type in, you know, I just type in my name, you know, this is uh, how it's gonna appear on uh, their inbox, on your subscribers' uh, emails, okay? So you just type in here, uh, need some at queenfx.com. You know, you just have to make sure the spelling is all right, okay? And you just click on add, okay? There you go, verification pending. Now, they will send, the get response itself will send an email to nizam at queenfx.com as well as my gmail.com. Uh, so what I need to do is I just have to uh, click on the email that they sent and you know I just have to uh, click on the verification link uh, in order for this new email address to work in get response. Now, same goes if you were to use uh, other autoresponder like eWeber or Sendly, okay? So the most important thing is we want this name, to, we want this email to appear uh, on uh, in our you know, subscribers list whenever we send an email to them, rather than uh, Gmail as you can see here, okay? So this is very important 
you know and this is you know one of the steps that you can actually uh, take in order to to change from using a gmail account to using your own trusted domain account okay so i think that's all for now so if you have any questions you shoot me an email and i'll be glad to reply as soon as possible so that's all for now thank you and bye bye